Hey friends, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my studio. It's November 2021 as I'm videoing this. And recently I painted Trouble 2.0. It was a cow painting, uh, had a black eyed Susan in its mouth on a wood panel just like this. And it sold really fast, so I'm gonna paint another one. So I am part of the Artist Cooperative Gallery here in Omaha, Nebraska, and they provide these 16 by 16 inch uh, birch, this is birch plywood panel. So it's so fun, it's so nice. And then they hang outside in the entryway. Um, it's a covered entryway as you enter the gallery. It's really cool. So I'm getting started. I'm gonna paint the background. I've got a tape line here for my sky. I wrote the word love on it in chalk pastel. And before I did all that, last night I put two heavy coats of gesso all over the wood panel just to kind of, well for one, it'll be much easier to paint on. Um, and two, I'm thinking it'll kind of help seal things up because I'm not gonna paint the back, but I will varnish the back too to help seal things up. And then when it's done, they put a, oh, it's like a wood, I don't know what it's called, like a cleat on it, it's pretty big. So they can, you can, they can hang it up on the wall. Okay. So I just wanted to say hello, hope you're having a good day, and let's have some fun. I've got thoughts. So I may have needed a third coat of gesso, but I remembered when I painted the other panel, I, I probably already said this, but I'll link it in the description below. I put a whole coat of paint on it. I think like a beige color paint on it. And I think that helped because it's kind of soaking up and fighting me a bit. I mean, it's not horrible, but just some tips in case you guys try to paint on a panel. I was gonna show you, but I don't think you'll be able to see in the video. My colors are, I'm <laughs> looking for them, guys. So I grabbed Cerulean Blue, because I've been liking it a lot with the, oh, hello, Freckles, I don't know if you heard her. I've been liking it a lot with the bright aqua green. And then I just put in a little Neutral Gray 5, because it's quick and it mutes it. Um, a compliment, some artists think you should use the compliment, because then you have a little bit more vibrant color. I don't know that that's wrong. I just kind of do what I like. <laughs> and then I used, uh, I was looking for it, but I used some titanium white. So I'm gonna let this dry and my sky will probably change because I'm, I'm gonna put another coat on it. Okay guys, back in a bit. Hey, so I really like how the sky went on, but it's soaking in. I don't know what it is because I've got two coats of clear gesso on this plywood it's birch this part is birch uh, which would have been the same as the last one i think so what i'm gonna do is paint i've got some raw sienna um, some naples yellow and quite a bit of white i'm gonna mix it up and just get some paint on the rest of this panel because i think it'll make it easier to paint the cow on top of okay guys back in a bit Hey, let's talk color a little bit. So I am using this color that looks black is actually Hooker's Green Deep Hue. I think I bought it by mistake. I think I think I thought it was Hooker's Green, <laughs> but it's a nice muted green. Um, and it's really dark. I might be coming off as black on the video. And I mixed it with a little white, or no, I mixed it with some uh, Naples yellow. This is Naples yellow down here. And then I pulled it out and mixed it with some white, so I got a nice gray green. 
And then I've been mixing sort of gray greens, yellow greens, and this puddle over here for the background. And I like it. I like it a lot. I think it, I think it looks good. Um, the sky seems too blue to me, but that always happens to me. I, I usually don't like the black, the background at all until I get my main subject on there and see how the values are, are uh, turning out. I can always lighten this some more. I think I'm going to take... Um, oh, and I was painting with this one inch angle brush. I think it's just a Crafts... Oh, can you see that? I think it's just a Craft Smart brush. It's a really inexpensive brush. Um, what else? Oh, and I think I'm going to put... Just some darker trees like I did in the other cow video along the, along the horizon line. That might make help make this look lighter. Also, the cow has got a, a white face. It's really white right here. I don't know if I might... The cow's face is really white right here. So that may help, you know, push the sky back some. But I just wanted to pop in. I really like the darker because Hooker's green, even though I think I bought it by mistake. And I'm going to start a new palette for the cow. So I'll be back after a while when I figure out what colors I want to use. Hey friends, I thought I'd pop in with a couple of comments. I don't think I've mentioned my cow colors. So I have titanium white, neutral gray five, burnt umber, raw sienna, cat orange, and Naples yellow. And right now what I'm doing is just kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, finding the shapes I'm thinking warmer on this side, cooler on this side. Oh, sorry guys, my throat's dry. <laughs> I thought I was fine before I started videoing. <clears throat> okay, let's hope, hopefully that does the trick. But it's not terribly pretty. And then I don't want to totally divide up the colors because otherwise I'd end up with some sort of line down this cow's face. So like I have some of the browns over here. You know, I'm not totally but you can tell that this side, is that straight? This side is warmer than that side. I think I'm gonna work on the eyes. Sometimes that really helps me. A lot of times, um, oh here, maybe you wanna see the sky. I added like a little green color in the sky just to help tie it in with the um, land. Oh, and some Bob Ross off in the distance trees or whatever those are. And then I've done the sweeping sky quite a bit. It's really easy and quick, and and I don't want to draw too much attention to the sky. The the cow is definitely the star of the show. Um, I don't know that no matter what I did in the sky, this cow is really big. So I don't know that that's even a problem. It's just something I do. Okay, I think I'm going to work on the eyes. Um, some artists think you should you know work the painting all over. And then, you know, big shapes to small shapes, which is a good way, a great way to work. Um, not much detail to detail. Oh, and I'm hinting at some, um, this is going to be a white daisy with another little white daisy bud. Um, so I'm going to hint at daisies in the background here. Here, maybe I should show you up close. I just kind of hinted at them now. I'll probably bring some out and make them stronger once I paint the daisy in. Oh, and I painted a little more darker greens at the bottom here too. So I am working the painting all over, sort of. 
but a lot of times if I get the eyes and the nose in, I just feel better about it. Um, Cause that's what really draws me to an animal portrait. This is basically an animal portrait. Okay, I hope those comments helped. I realized I hadn't popped in and told you what my colors are. Um, it's starting to come together. There's a lot of my background color showing through. Um, this board is just rougher. I don't think it's that I didn't use enough gesso or enough paint. It's just a rougher board, um, which both has some fun effects. Like here's an interesting texture that's just, just the rough board right here. I don't know if you can see that. It makes a neat little texture. And then sometimes it kind of fights me. You just, you know, this is kind of how paintings go. Okay guys, I hope those comments helped a bit and I'll be back in a bit. Hey, let's talk about a few things that are going on here in my studio. So I don't know that I've showed you my reference photo, but I think, oh, that's not showing up well on the video. But can you see how pink that nose is? I'm thinking, and then that grass is really green and the cow looks kind of orange. You can see those things. Um, I think that the photographer pumped up the color saturation in the photo. Which isn't, that's not a bad thing. I rather like it. Um, so even though I've muted down some of my colors here, they're looking pretty saturated as I look into my phone. I added quinacridone magenta, and then I'm mixing it with a little orange, a little burnt umber, and I'm just mixing puddles to paint the nose. And then I ended up adding quite a bit of pink here on this side of the face for the cow. And there's a little here, just um, sort of a rule of thumb that can help you. Don't just keep one color on one side and pull it over onto another side. Um, don't You don't always have to do it, but it can help, help your painting. And then my paints are drying. I've only been painting for a couple hours. I have misted them. I have taken my palette knife with a little bit of water on it. Of course, burnt umber always dries fast for me and like cut a little bit of water into them. Of course that can make them dry faster too because the water evaporates faster than like the medium. Um, but if I cut and keep cutting medium into it or like sprinkling, mixing medium into it, they'll get a lot more transparent. So it's kind of a, a game you play on your palette. And it's really windy here. It's November, 2021. I think it's really dry outside. So it's dry in my studio and then this, <laughs> I think it's sucking up more paint and drying faster. So you just kind of have to work with what happens. But I thought I'd stop and talk about a couple of those things. It happens to everybody. It depends on the weather. It's kind of like cooking, you know, unless you have certain days. I mean, if it's a really humid day, it'll turn out differently than if it's a really dry day. But I also thought you might like a closer look at the nose. I'm just kind of getting paint down. Oh, and then there wasn't pink anywhere else really, except for a smidge of pink in the photo on this eye, but I also put pink in the cheeks. It might make it look too cute. I might take it out, but I'm just trying to, I like that that nose is really strong, but it is kind of low on my canvas. Also should probably get some of the ears in and then finish covering maybe some of my background color. I haven't covered it there. You can still see that beige, -ish, beige background color showing through. Oh, here, maybe you want to see where I am with the eyes. So the eyes look really intense, intense orange on my reference photo, but I 
I toned those down. I didn't like that. Okay, guys, just wanted to pop in with what's happening, um, and I'll be back after a while. guys I thought I'd pop in because I've been painting for a little bit and I'm I'm adding white now and starting to turn the lights on um, and I don't I I always make this a little lighter than it is actually my reference photo this eyelash looks pretty light um, and so now I'm kind of I don't want to put white everywhere I've lightened up my sky a couple times but I don't know if it looks any lighter and this ear I think is done. This ear needs work. And I don't, I will definitely do more to this side of the face, but I'm not sure exactly what. And this needs to be whiter here. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Oh, and I added some stronger white and some little centers for the daisies. There, you probably want to see closer. So it's getting close. Like I think this needs a little bit more white to bring it forward a little bit. But there's the ear, the ear and the eye. I think the eyes are pretty much done. I'm looking at it in my, in my phone right along with you guys. Oh, the daisies. So I um, just, made a few of them whiter. I might make a few more, but I don't know if I need to. It looks pretty good. And then I put little yellow centers in them. Just a couple of them. That's where the big daisy will go. Okay, I just thought you might want to see what I'm thinking. I think this needs to be whiter right here. I think a lot more needs to be whiter. But that's okay. Usually it takes a couple coats. And that ear's glowing nicely. I don't know if I need to come back and maybe add some yellow to that ear. I kind of like how the sun's coming through it. Alrighty, I hope that was helpful. I'll be back after a bit. stop a minute and uh, talk about some things I'm thinking so I put out more of this 
uh, Hooker's Green Deep Hue that I bought by mistake. And then when I mix it with the Burnt Umber, I pretty much get a black color. I don't know if you can see it on my palette. And um, I've been putting it, I put some in the ears to have more contrast in the ears. Because I'm the focal points are like the eyes, of course, because we, we always look at the eyes. And then I added more color and more pop to the nose. I added some orange over this yellowish, goldish color. I added some pink here and a little pink here and a little pink here um, just to help unify the painting. I, um, I put in these brush strokes, like I love that brush stroke. And then I also paint some out. And I'm getting some interesting texture. This I should have sanded the front of this um, birch plywood. But I also, also don't mind, let's see if I can show you here. Can you see the texture of the wood? I don't know if you can on the video. It's giving me a really interesting texture which I don't necessarily mind. So when I say I should have sanded it, I don't know. Sort of a happy accident. Um, I lightened up my sky again. I think I like it now. I think I'm getting pretty close. So one of the other thoughts I wanted to share with you is like, I'm at the point of the painting where I paint a little and I step back and look at it, or I look at it in my phone here. And I'm liking the light dark contrast. Even though my reference photo doesn't have this, I'm liking this better. Because the light's kind of shining through the thin parts of the ear. Um, and it is coming from the side, even though it's much softer in my reference photo. I like the little bit more drama. I like that the, I always like the nose to really stand out on the cows because it just makes me chuckle. And now I'm going to start um, putting in, you know, I might make the mouth darker here. I don't know. I'm gonna start putting in some whiskers, some little hairs, and I think next is the daisy, and we're just about done. Anyway, I hope those comments help. Um, oh gosh, I don't know how long I've been painting, but I spent most of yesterday, I've spent three or four hours yesterday putting in a lot of brush strokes and things, and I spent a lot of time today taking quite a few out. Um, and I can put them back in. You know, if I decide like this area is too flat, that sort of thing. There's a little, what's, what's nice too is there's a little reflective light. This is lighter here. There's a little light coming around the other side of the cow. Um, this is where you just paint and play and do things you like and it takes a little practice and a little bit of experience. But I tend to have too many of these brush strokes and I think it gets a little too busy but then if you think of Van Gogh, that's all he did was sort of these little brush strokes. You know, there's there's a fun one. See if I can point to it right there. Um, you could have them all over. That works too. There isn't really a right or a wrong, and that can be frustrating for people. Um, it's just really what you like and have fun. But I also want to, I just, again, want, want to emphasize, slow down, look at it, take your time step back from it, those kinds of things really help. Okay guys, I'm gonna work on whiskers, maybe darker here, and the flower. And I'll be back.
okay, I am done. And I'm gonna look at it in my phone here. I, I like it, I'm liking the values. I love that the nose pops. And it's a little risky because it's down low on the painting, but since it's a portrait and the ears and the eye, and then on purpose, I have the daisy coming up, looking up, I think it works. I put some straight up orange right here. Um, it still has other colors underneath it, so it's not orange orange, but it, I like that it, uh, I don't know, I just like that there's more color here, there's less color over here, that kind of thing. I ended up putting, I don't know how many coats of white in some areas. Um, I think this has like, this little line has like three coats of white. Um, I zoomed in on the flower, so hopefully you could see that and my head wasn't in the way. But some of those petals have almost like four coats of white on it just to get it to be nice and strong. Here, you probably want to see it closer. I added more whiskers, which I think is cute. So there's, there's the flower. Oh, and I end up putting a little orange in the flower to give it a little more um, stronger color. So I wasn't originally gonna make this quite so orange, but it ended up being kind of fun. Oh, and I added more whites to some of these flowers. These flowers are probably stronger white than they would be, but I like, I sort of like the sparkly pattern I've got going, Another sort of another circle. <laughs> both to entertain and to keep your eye in the painting. So I don't know what all I showed you here. I'll link the reference photo in this video description. Maybe you want to kind of see some of the wrinkles. So here's the orange I was talking about. And off and on during the painting, I had like orange or I put some of the Naples yellow. Um, I, I know I mentioned I added some pink here. Just to kind of play a little bit with the color. I think that's really fun. I really like, I really like it. I wasn't sure, you know, paintings come together at the end. They have a really long, ugly stage or a, a stage where I'm just not real happy with it. So hopefully I'm showing you everything you need to see here. I've got some straight up aqua. What is that color? I'm gonna set this down because I can't remember. I never can remember the name of the, of the color. It is. Oh, bright aqua green. So if you put, like I put some right here and it's actually pretty straight out of the tube, but then I blend it with a brush or blend it with my finger and it's not nearly strong. That's one way that layers and acrylic painting is really fun. Um, you can just kind of keep pushing and pulling values and color. Oh yeah, I <laughs> just think that's so sweet. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's so fun for me to have you guys tag along. I really appreciate your support. I appreciate your friendship. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.